Hey YouTube, welcome to this edition of Fix It with Avion Electronics. Uh, I have an old Keithley 179 digital multimeter. It's a bench style meter. Um, I've had it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I bought it second hand. It worked for the first few days and then it started failing. It started flashing as if it was in the um, infinite impedance or um, uh, resistance measurement mode. And I wasn't sure what to think of this. Uh, it took me a little while. The first day I pulled it apart, started going through a tracing and discovered a positive 15 volt rail to be going to ground. Um, well, you don't initially know it's going to ground, but upon further investigation, you do discover that it is going to ground. Now, this could be caused from any of the components that have gone to ground or burnt out or whatever the case may be. So. Without having a schematic diagram, one has to dig a little bit into these sort of things. Um, so what I thought is, hey, you know what? I haven't done this before, so let me share the fix with you guys and share what I found. Um, hell, it might help somebody else out there who has a very similar problem. So let's have a look at uh, the Keithley meter. Please excuse the footage. It was handheld. Um, I was doing it in a bit of a rush because I was quite excited to have my favorite bench multimeter back up and running. So off we go. How's it everybody? This is a bit of a quick um, handheld uh, guide through a repair on a Keithley 179 True RMS Digital Multimeter. Um, this meter was working uh, very briefly and then it stopped working uh, where it was just flickering, flashing as if it was in the ohm scale. Um, when I did some investigations I discovered that there's two power rails inside this um, this guy, two voltage regulators. You've got a positive and a negative 15 volt regulators over here. Um, there's also a 5 volt regulator hanging around over here. But what was happening is the positive 15 volt rail, which um, if you have a look over here, you've got your positive 15 volt test point and your negative 15 volts. Negative 15 volts was giving me minus 14.9. Um, I was getting power up to the input of the regulator um, and then well up to the input of the power switch and then when you switch on it was pulling down the whole input rail of the positive 15 volt regulator down so I did some investigation I pulled the regulator I found out that the input signal is fine uh, the input voltage is fine everything's fine there but that the output was going to ground, well almost to ground, it was sitting at 0 0.1 ohms. So what I did is I cut into the track over there um, and I did some testing from that point onwards. Um, like you can see the small track cut there and I basically traced through because I didn't have any diagrams or anything for this thing. Um, I traced it all the way through. At first I thought it may be the, the op amp over here or one of the other circuits or op amps but um, that didn't turn out to be the case. Um, after tracing and tracing and tracing, if you have a look over here there are two teeny little capacitors. Well there was only one now. The other one I've pulled out. What I did is I lifted one of the legs on one of those capacitors. Now this is where this sort of stuff takes time because um, this isn't something you discover quickly, I mean manually tracing through, um, it was this little guy over here that was giving me all my grief. Upon measuring this capacitor, this capacitor showed the 0 0.1 ohms that I was suspecting and um, after removing it, we have life. Now obviously the meter will function fine now, we've got no more flashing but I need to replace that capacitor because that will be some form of filtering or the likes. So yeah, you know what, frustrating is what it can be. At the end of the day, this is quite an old uh, multimeter, um, Keithley 179, uh, but it is still a nice meter to have around on the bench. Um, I quite like the display etc. So I was quite bummed when this thing stopped functioning. Um, I'm now just going to do a bit of a voltage check on all the rails to see how everything's looking. And uh, then I got to find me a 35 volt capacitor to replace this little bugger here that gave me all the grief. Anyway, guys, just a bit of a follow up on this one. Um, I'll give you another video once the meter's back up and running with some tests. 
Cheers for now. Just a little bit more on the Keithley. Um, as you can see, we've got a 15 volt signal going in, and we're measuring our 15.002 volts. Uh, very, very happy uh, with my meter being back up and running. One of the reasons for actually using this meter is the nice display, the 20,000 count display. Um, you can do up to 20 volts with three decimal points, so you actually get a nice resolution um, when doing voltage measurements. But anyway, guys. That concludes meters up and running and case is closed. Thanks very much.